Pressure transducers can be used with a lab scope. The pressure transducer changes movement of the diaphragm into an electrical signal. Now the diaphragm is inside the pressure transducer. The diaphragm is going to move and pulse because of changes in pressure. The pressure that we're talking about is engine compression, exhaust pressure, intake manifold pressure, and fuel rail pressure. Now the fuel rail pressure is going to be measured every time an injector opens there's going to be a pressure change or a pressure drop and the pressure transducers going to change that movement into an electrical signal that we can see on a lab scope. We can put pressure transducers in the top left, the fuel rail, top right, right in the tailpipe, bottom left, we can remove a spark plug and place a pressure transducer right in the spark plug hole. And we can, of course, in the lower right there, find a vacuum source on the intake manifold and put a pressure transducer there. Now, look at this waveform. In the red, that's the pressure transducer's electrical signal. And you can see that it's moving around there. And between the two blue injector pulse widths, you can see four events. And that's because we're on a four cylinder. When we have a bad injector, it's very obvious right there in the center of your screen. You can see it's even going off scale there. So when we look at this waveform, over in the left hand corner you can see an arrow pointing to the injector. Now that's the injector voltage waveform on channel number one. And the electrical transducer signal is on channel 2. Here is a event from injector number 1 opening causing a pressure drop in the fuel rail and it makes this event. Here's the second cylinder in the firing order, third and of course the fourth. What we're looking at in these pressure transducers is simply do all the waveforms, do all the events look the same? And you can see on our good example here, they do all look the same. And when there's a bad one, it's pretty obvious. This one is really bad. This injector wasn't firing at all. So you can see in the top left-hand corner, bad. In the lower right-hand corner, good. And that's a pressure transducer on a fuel rail on a four-cylinder car. And you can see it works really well. There's software that comes with these pressure transducers. And the software is going to lead you through connecting the pressure transducer to your scope and to the vehicle. And it's going to help and assist you in finding things like misfire. Now this is ACE misfire and that's its main purpose, to detect misfires and tell you which cylinder is misfiring. When you open the software, you're going to get directions on where to connect it, how to set it up, you're going to have a start button, of course, and then when you start it, you're going to see the waveform that comes from the pressure transducer. And, of course, you're going to find out which cylinder is misfiring, and this software also tells you possible causes of the misfire. Now, here's some more advanced software from autotestsolutions.com. Now, ATS has made this software package address a vacuum transducer. Now you can see that this yellow waveform at the top in the center is going along normally every time there's a misfire and down in the lower part of the screen of the waveform you can see where it says misfire cylinder number one and then of course the cylinder repeats itself every time it comes around. This is some very unique software and they also have a pressure transducer that can help us determine cam timing. And they're going to give us some directions here. Simply put, in the top left-hand corner there, you see the waveform we were just looking at. They're pointing to the very small part of that waveform. And at the top, they're saying that's waveform when it crosses uh, bottom dead center in the center. That's correct cam timing. We have one for advanced cam timing and then of course the bottom one is for retarded cam timing.
And so you're going to run this vehicle. You're going to place a pressure transducer in a spark plug hole, and then you're going to run the vehicle. And you're going to look at that very small part of that waveform to determine do you have correct valve timing. Now, transducers are changing the way we diagnose. No, they're not the end-all for end-all diagnostics. They're not going to replace the technician. But viewing the electrical signal created by that transducer on a lab scope can help pinpoint problems and very quickly. You can see by taking a spark plug out, putting a tr pressure transducer in there, and looking at that waveform, we didn't have to tear the front of the engine down to see if the valve timing was correct. But as with any tool, there's going to be a learning curve when you first start using them. So just like anything else, you're going to have to study and learn it. Now, their main premise, the main premise of a pressure transducer is to point you to the problem quickly so that you test the correct component or system. And by that we mean if you do a uh, tailpipe test and you do an engine cranking test and it tells you that number two cylinder in the firing order does not have the same compression as the other cylinders, then you can move directly to the second cylinder in the firing order and do a compression test on that one instead of doing on all other seven. It saves you time. Pressure transducers are really changing the way we diagnose.